Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Snolly, if you guys don't already know me. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys the importance of cleaning your eyebrows. It is so important, especially when you're trying to grow out your eyebrows over the summer like I am. It's been two months since I've gotten my eyebrows done, which is a record for me because I usually go once a week or every other week. So it's definitely been hard, but I feel like a lot of people go through this struggle as well. And the right time to do it is over the summer when you're not really seeing a whole bunch of people. But when you are going out to see people, you might not feel extremely flaky because your eyebrows are growing out. So hopefully this tutorial will help you guys out with that problem. So let's get started. There is no right order to do your makeup in. It's just whatever feels comfortable to you. So usually for me, I do like to do my eyes before I do the whole face. I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia Brow Wiz and filling in my eyebrows. It is currently July something and I have not gotten my eyebrows done since like May 3rd. If you guys remember, I think it was like during Vlogmas, I went to a lady here in Roswell area and she messed up my eyebrows so bad and I was so pissed. You guys should really check out that vlog because my rant's kind of funny because I was like actually angry about it and I still am. Like it is still a problem. She literally made this eyebrow like shorter on top and like higher on the bottom so it's just like a lot thinner in general so right now I'm just trying to grow it out as long as I can and it's really tempting not to go to the eyebrow place and get them done but I know it's gonna be better in the end if I just grow it out during the summer but the only thing that sucks is that it's not growing in the right places like it'll grow like all under here but not where I want it to grow and I am using castor oil some nights not like every single night which I probably should but for now I'm gonna have to like try to cover it up with concealer every time I put on my makeup so that is what I'm gonna show you guys today so I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see this brow transformation the camera doesn't make it look as bad as it does in person but as you can tell it's pretty messy underneath and on top so we're definitely gonna try to conceal all that hair so first I'm just gonna do my eyebrows fill them in with the Anastasia Brow Wiz My problem is that I always overdraw them and I really don't like that look but sometimes it's really hard to like just rub off all your eyebrows and start over especially when you're crunched on time. So the first brow product I actually ever owned was a NYX eyebrow pencil and it wasn't the micro brow pencil, it was just like a normal pencil. So it was pretty thick and I had a very heavy hand the first time I used it so it was very scary. Like my eyebrows literally looked like solid black. And the biggest thing that you should always remember is to have a light hand and just do like light strokes and not literally just color them in because that's what's going to make them look really really bad. And this right here is where it gets difficult because as you can see, this is where she like took off all of the hairs and that is what needs to grow back in. And so I literally have to draw in so many hairs over there. So I have to like kind of like match it up. And then always remember to brush it out because you don't want it to be looking like you drew them on, you want it to look super natural. After I fill in my brows, I'll use the Make Me Brow by Essence. And this is exactly like the Gimme Brow by Benefit, but it's so much cheaper. And it's important to make sure you get all the excess off this brush because it will literally look like you're putting clumpy mascara on your brows, which is not cute. I like to give it the feathered effect by just doing this with my brush and not bringing it like straight down. So that makes it look like your brows are just a little bit thicker. So to conceal, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape. Now I'm actually going to use this as eyeshadow primer too. So I'm just going to put it directly on my eyelid and kind of bring it up as close to the brow as you can. Try not to put an extreme amount because it is going to be annoying to blend out. First I'm going to be taking my Beauty Blender and blending it out onto my lid and then we can get into the brow.
Next, I'm going to be taking a very small flat brush and just concealing all those little tiny hairs right underneath where I drew my brows. And as you can tell, it's already looking so much cleaner. Just by looking at my brows right now, you can tell that there's an extreme difference when you do clean up your eyebrows and when you don't. So look at my brows now, they look so much better and this is why you definitely need to take the time to clean up your eyebrows with some concealer. I hope this video helped you guys out and now I hope you guys know how important it is to clean up them eyebrows. So I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys!